Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Simone's tutorials. I don't know, parents say I must do a tutorial. So, I decided to just do a basic how to draw an anime girl. One thing that you need to keep in mind, though, thank you, is that everybody has different oh no okay this is doing something weird ah. <gasps> of course it breaks when I need to use it okay so it's picking that up okay think what he has next no I blame my dad. This thing stuck when he walked in. <laughs> ah, <laughs> One thing that you need to keep in mind is that everybody has their own style. So, oopsie. This is my style. Okay? You don't need to draw it looking exactly the same. Uh, basically, all drawings start the same way, like from when you were a kid, it starts with a circle. For me especially, drawings start with a circle. And that is usually the face. Now I've gotten to a point where I don't even need to draw the circle anymore because I can just kind of freehand it. But basically what you do is you have a circle, and then you've got a little triangle. And that gives you a face. So, uh, if you're not too good at it, then what you can do is you can just use one of this. Okay, okay, I got a sideways, very pointy face, but yeah, let's do that. Make sure that your triangle fits inside your circle. So, this will be a person, like you'll see, okay, the pointy part, that part is the chin and once you get better then you can start freehanding that and making it a bit rounder looking like an actual chin at the moment it just looks like a bird cheep cheep <laughs> um right then what a lot of artists tend to do especially when they're starting out is they put like a little line through the face make sure your line is curved because the face isn't flat like the earth and then another line like this so this line just uh, orientates you on the face. So where do you put the eyes? Where do you put the nose? Where do you put the mouth? Um, the top quadrant here, this is used for uh, obviously eyes, nose, ma eyes and nose, eyebrows, hair, etc, etc, etc. So let's do that on our little sideways face first and then we'll do it on the freehand face afterwards. Uh, so I'm just going to do very basic because it's just an example. This is where the eyes would go, but the space between the eyes, otherwise you've got something very close. The nose kind of breaks through the second quadrant and goes into the bottom quadrant. So it starts at the top quadrant, goes into the bottom quadrant, and then eyebrows, easy enough, eh? Anyone can do that. And then a smiley face. Don't have to be a professional. Easy enough to do a face like that. Like it's actually quite funny. I did something similar with my students last year where I was like drawing out the characters of Pride and Prejudice. And I did these simple faces like this and then like all of them started drawing these little simple faces that I did. I felt so proud, like, oh, look at my little babies. So there you go. Very simple face. Um your hair obviously depends on what you wanna do. So what my niece would tend to do. So you start from the top here and my niece likes to make her hair look like this. I'm sure you remember doing those things when you were little like that. Just that and that's hair. Now that's fine to start off with but you need to remember that hair has volume. So you need to add just a little bit on the outside so that it looks like it can bounce. What I tend to do is I put a little curve here because you see that's the line. That's the path. 
uh, and then the next lot of hair comes from that side and then you do the same thing and then you just join that up like that if you want it to look less like paper you can do it all the way down and voila you have a very very manly looking woman here or a very long haired man or you know genders genders neutral these days you know let's just say it's a gender neutral person right so let's do the same thing on the other face but with a bit more detail okay now I don't really need to draw the little arrows anymore but for your reference I will do it so halfway there you go so now you can already see eyes going there nose going there mouth going there so you can even divide subdivide this into even smaller sections so a little bit above however big you want to make your eyes you can draw another line like that and then where is our nose going to be it's going to be midway between this bottom section here and the mouth will be a little bit below the nose okay uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit boing boing I'm going to use the small one just so you can see what I'm doing in a bit more detail so eyes can basically be done in any way but since this is an anime girl I'll do my normal anime eyes I'll do a big one for you so you can see how that goes so that's like a arch there uh, use the smaller brush just to put the little eyelid and the bottom lid as well since this is an anime girl you can go uh, mad on the the thickness of the thing because uh, she's going to be wearing mascara so you can do that you can even add little eyelashes if you want mm. personally I'm not a fan of the eyelashes don't use it very often unless my character is wearing makeup just to emphasize that she's wearing makeup uh, I hope I'm not going too fast right it took me a long time to get to this point but I don't know if you'll be able to do it as quickly but maybe you can Kay. then you do a half circle on the one side half circle on the other side right it's already looking like an eye lots of different ways of doing this eye at the moment it depends on my style so my style at the moment is just to do something like that and then add a bit of color inky pinky bonky daddy had a donkey donkey died daddy cried inky pinky bonky okay blue right and because this is paint it's not gonna look that great <laughs> but then you put a different darker color at the top that's to signify like the shadow from the eyelid and then if you want a lighter color at the bottom this is to signify the light that they are looking into can put a little thing there as well okay so that's like a normal eye normal anime eye and I've actually got lots of different styles of doing this so one of the ways that I sometimes use is I put another little thing on the inside there and it goes like this and then you get the kind of half moon effect uh, don't really do that so much anymore and then I also sometimes just do a little bit more detail in the eye and things like that um, let me think, is that the easiest eye? It's definitely not the easiest one to do. The easiest one would probably be like a Goku eye. But all eyes start with that half moon thing. It starts with the eyebrow and it starts with the half moon at the bottom. So, as long as you can do this, you should be able to do your little anime eye. You can just clean that up a bit so that it's round like a socket. And then, oh, this is another way that I do eyes, is that I put the little light piece on the side. Uh, let's make it like this. So this is the other way I do eyes, and that the thing is a bit visible. The, the iris. Sorry, I need to sneeze. <coughs> edit that out. Oh, I won't. <laughs> and then it's the same as usual. Add the little bit of light at the bottom. A little bit of light at the top. 
Alright, and there you go. Anime eye. Let's try something else. You want to do a sharp eye because this person's mysterious. Okay, and instead of doing your normal arch, you make it like this and then very sharply like a triangle down on the edge. And you can even close that up if you want. Okay, so just to do that again, it's half up like this, around. If you want them to be sharper, obviously you go flatter over there. So let's just do a really sharp one, hooded eye sort of a vibe. Hooded eye like this, yes. Huh? And then just close that up. I definitely have my preferred way of doing eyes and you'll see it comes through in every eye that I do so so let's make some brown eyes oh the brown actually looks a lot redder than I thought it would so let's do some red eyes. Okay. Let's add some of this here. There we go. And then mm, let's oh I didn't make a green eye, let me make a green eye. There goes. So unfortunately since I'm not live streaming you can't choose which eye you like best but so I will be choosing the eye I like best. And I think the eye I like best is the sharp one. Okay, so let's go back and do the sharp one. So remember we had these quadrants left side, right side. Uh, ooh, let me orientate myself again. I put so many quadrants in here. Okay. okay. So, if I recall... Hmm, that was the halfway point. So this would be where the eye is. Let's just put a little hole there for now. And then nose in the middle of the face the anime style of doing it is just to have like this little weird I don't know what you would call that some kind of L shape I guess and then the mouth would be here so, let's wink. so do you see how everything fits in its quadrant mm, let's start erasing I'll do it a bit more in detail in a second. Once you get experienced, you can kind of work out where everything needs to go on the face without the quadrants. I, I know there's some experience, so I can still use the quadrants because obviously it's a bit more accurate than just eyeballing it and guessing where everything goes. Uh, I actually like that little skull. Maybe I'll make that a skull. <laughs> decided to put a scar there. For no reason other than I think it looks cool. <laughs> right, so I want to make my sharp-eyed little lady. So we follow the same, start up there, straight across, and then a little cat eye kind of a thing going on. If you do makeup, these, this should actually come easy to you because it's like you follow the same uh, route. And this is also, even though I was a bit sour about having to draw in paint because this program doesn't pick up Photoshop, um, it's actually nice to see how far the lines go. Yep. So it's a bit creepier looking than I thought it would. I guess she's a bad guy. Then, where you've got this nose part here, that's generally where you start the eyebrow now. The eyebrow can look however you want it to. Like because I want to make her evil, I'm gonna give her this weird kind of I don't know, vibe on her eyebrow. But an eyebrow can look 
however you wanted to. You can do go back to grade one and just do that eyebrow, like that half arch thing. Just don't go like this, because then it looks like a clown. Like, if you're a girl, then you know how to do makeup. Oh, guys, you know, I'm so sexist. I'm so sorry. Um, so you don't want to look surprised. So your arch should never be that big. It should be kind of like a halfway arch, like so. So you start like this, and then you go up and down. Right? Usually the front part of the eyebrow is a bit thicker, but if you just want to do it, just to make it look more natural. But if you want it to look plain, then you can make it look plain. Right now to try and do the same thing on the other side. What I tend to do in Photoshop is I cheat. So um, basically how you cheat is you take the eyebrow and then you copy and then you paste it into the other side and it's done. <laughs> Okay, now the ears. So the ears will start at the bottom of the eyebrow and the bottom of the nose, right? It can be anywhere between those two places, like this. It's not always necessary when drawing anime girls though, because uh, most of the time it's covered with long hair. And I suppose if you draw an anime guy with long hair. Like fun fact, I tried to have, uh, I tried to make Magnus in The Sims and the only hairstyles I could use were like the female hairstyles so I'm actually really happy that they did that in Sims like to be more inclusive that the males can wear female hairstyles I see not a lot of people actually do that in the gallery though but it was cool like I could make my character look exactly how I envisioned him in the Sims <laughs> probably better looking in the Sims than what I could draw <laughs> right. uh, inside of the ear I just do the little lobe and curve lobe and curve if you're getting stuck it's basically just a six right or backward six lobe and curve this part here is attached to the face so it doesn't need that it doesn't need that either there you go, pretty simple huh? okay of course ears don't always just look like that like you get all different types of ears and you get those long ears and those ears they put the stretches in and stuff so you can draw the ear however you are comfortable drawing an ear. The easiest one is just the curve and then that six thing I showed you. Uh, but you can also draw it like this. Like if your character has weird ears. Okay, it's not weird. Maybe some people have ears like that. Or like this. Uh, what a look on pointy ear. Yeah. So a ear is basically just a C with that backward six in it. That's the easiest way to describe it ear. I guess. Or how I draw ears anyway. Right. Uh, let me just put a neck there so it doesn't look like neck is on a stick over here. Right. So what shall we do with her face? Hmm. So you'll notice I is kind of halfway up because I want the hair to start there. That's what we call the hairline. And if you look at your own hairline, like that's basically it can be as high up or as low down as you want it to. It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, it obviously depends on what kind of hairline you want to give your character. So for example, you've got the widow's peak, so that it comes up here really, really high and then it goes down like this so that's one kind of hairline you can do and you've got someone like I think my sister's husband's hairline looks like this Maybe it goes like this and then like that and then like this and then like that like down like that you'll notice it's different from the widow's peak one I did because that was more pointy like that uh, my hairline is also square like that I think very high up on the head very curly. Uh, so, what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? Hmm. I'm not very good at thinking up hairstyles. Mm, 
Um, shall we do... Okay, let's do this, because this always looks good. So this is like a hair to the side sort of thing. Funny fact, my kids um, told me draw this once, like this hair to the side thing, and they were like Illuminati, because to them if you cover the eye, it's Illuminati. But uh, no, I'm just covering the eye because I don't want to draw the other eye. <laughs> it's not always that complicated, people. Right, so you've got it like that, and then you've got another one like that. Doesn't necessarily, you can do it like this as well. You want to show that she's tying her hair up quite tightly. Uh, so that's where her path is. And then goes down like this. Kay. The hair should reach like the top part of the ear. Right. And then we'll give her a little hairpiece. Pom pom as we call it. I'll make it red so it stands out. Now this is the difficult part, like how am I going to draw this? So basically hair doesn't just come like in a blob. The easiest thing to do here is to obviously do that. And then she's got a bun. But we want her hair to flow. So one piece of hair going like this, it's going to curve over. Remember the force of gravity. The next piece over here also influenced by gravity. Next piece over here also influenced by gravity. Then I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. It comes around and done. Okay. Then you just do this. Okay. And then just to show that it comes out on the other end, you could draw it at the bottom like that. But I have decided I don't like that, so I'm gonna take that off. Just completely just erase. It's just one type of hair cell. You don't need to do that. I think what I'll do is I'll have a hair like coming down on the side. I like that sort of hairstyle. Mm. I often do that for myself. Right. So you have to figure out which way is a hair tied. Is it tied this way? Is it tied that way? It's up to you. But since I've got this on the side, I'm going to make it go the side so that it's not as heavy so you can see I'm doing a little curve here so I'm going a bit faster right and another little curve all right just make like a little curly thing and then close it up right. you notice I put that there uh, you don't have to do that if you want you can just make it really blocky but I tend to do it like that just so it looks more natural you know, like, as I said in the other video, hair doesn't always do what you want. So, putting these little things here, that helps. Makes it look more natural, in my opinion. I'm also erasing the middle so that when I colorful, then it just goes right through and I don't need to click in every little block. Mm, she's looking decidedly evil. <laughs> Alright, so now let's add our colors. Okay, just beneath this thing. Oh, she's actually looking like an anime gender neutral person rather than an anime girl. But whatever. I want to give her black hair. Alright. So you can basically do whatever you want in terms of colors different strokes for different folks Oopsie. let's do this so that the color doesn't leak out paint am I right and the color leaked out okay <laughs> let me zoom in a bit Boop. close that up. You see, you don't notice these things. <sighs> right. Easy enough, eh? Let's give her the brown eyes. And then what you do with the eyes, you just close that up here, close that up here. She looks kind of unhinged. I like it. 
and then And then sometimes what I tend to do is cut it in the lip. You don't have to do this, this is just to just wanna make it look a little bit more feminine, I suppose. The the scar is definitely ruining that aesthetic. And then you just put shadows where you think shadows would go. So shadow would go on the inside of the ear. Goes at the top of the eyelid. Across the nose. And under the chin. Generally here by the mouth. Usually I do much more detailed shadows, but I it's just like a quick tutorial, so not necessary to put so much detail in. Mm. Then you use a lighter color than the one you used for the hair, and you just trace your own little lines there for the highlights. I know it looks weird at the moment. Mm kind of actually uh, said I did really good with the highlights said I make it look easy that's because it is easy you just basically follow your own lines with lighter color highlights done oh my word I had so much shame when I was younger because somebody asked me how I do like line art and I was a dumb shit so I was like oh you know you just take this this pen and you draw a line and I realized that was probably not what she meant and she probably thought I was being insulting and stuff so there you go you just go up and down up and down like the shape of the hair like that Boop. and then like that as well on the other side and at the bottom as well you'll notice I'm using a different brush just because I like the texture texture doesn't really matter because it's up to you how you want the texture to look so you just follow your own lines until you get to the other side and then you can add shadows so shadows would be a dark color that just goes in between so you'll see what I'm doing is I'm just following my own lines as I've been doing and just in between the lighter color, I'm going with the darker color. Her hair is going to look super realistic for her face. It's going. It's not going to look that great. <laughs> so sometimes I get carried away and then I do stuff like this. So, so I'll notice just following the shapes that I've already marked out. The top, just coming down like a little triangle. And voila, done. If you want to, you can put an even lighter color there. Boop, 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 boop. And as I said in the Doki Doki video as well, if anyone, if you haven't watched that, watch that. Uh, I like to add these little strands of hair just so that it looks like more realistic. Hair doesn't always do what you like it to do. <laughs> I figured out how to go out. <laughs> it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Okay, so she's not looking very feminine. So I want to make her look a little bit more feminine. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So I'll just put a little curve piece of her hair that goes down like this. And on the other side too. Mm. 
And now she looks more feminine. <laughs> Just a little bit. So there's our little anime girl. Spice. <laughs> um, lips don't look that great, but like I said, you can basically do your own thing. You don't have to do it as I'm doing it. Okay, let's make this a bit longer down here. And now for the body. Okay, now body is a little bit more difficult to do, so let me break that down. So you start with circle number one. That is the head. Then a line. That is the neck. Then depending on the person's body shape, you can use square or circle. So I'm going to use the square just so it's a bit easier to see. Torso. Right? Then another line. Right? Just a small one. That is where the hips are going to connect. And another little box. Hip and pelvis. Then leg leg the legs can be as long as short as you want it just depends how tall you want to make your character uh, people's body types are also different so you can have a longer torso and shorter legs or a shorter torso and longer legs it's up to you what you want to do uh, then you have to do shoulders which just stick out a bit there and then you go down and this is where my niece gets stuck like she doesn't realize people have elbows and I also didn't realize that when I was like 12 so all of my characters that I drew back then it was very awkward so halfway uh, halfway down you can make that as long as short as you want like I said everybody has different body types just a little circle and then another little line like that another little line like that and then two circles for hands you can put two circles down here for feet too that's just like a basic body shape like it's got absolutely no shape this would be like if you were going to draw a kid I guess uh, because there's no shape it's just the basic human shape so yeah what I used to do when I was little is I just kind of guessed where everything was and I didn't actually do body studies so you know they always say do realism studies it is important so that you can see how the human body actually looks and you don't just guess and you make this weird monstrosity that looks vaguely like a human so I don't know if I'd be a better artist if I had done that so there we go I'm putting in my shoulders so here you go imagine this is my block let me just draw a quick block just so you can see what I'm doing here so this will be my block, just eyeballing it, boom. What is that? That's the torso. So you get the idea, boom, 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 boom. So you just do the, right, so now we've got torso and shoulders. I haven't decided what I want to do with the arms, and that's very important because sometimes the arms, if I wanted to do something like this, would obscure the body. So. Let's try not to obscure the body this time. Okay, then you put a little uh, indent there. That's the chest area. Okay. Now, depending on your boob size, uh, that can be bigger or smaller as you would like. So, big boobs, you would start a bit at the top here. And boobs do not look like this, people. Uh, I, d I know I only did this when I was little because uh, I didn't know how boobs looked and then I had these two like I, I, I mean I knew what boobs looked but yeah it just looked like pineapples <laughs> I don't know watermelons peaches boobs don't look like that but if you need to do that that's fine and then you just erase the top part like a little nice half circle of course, to me, this looks like fake boobs. Like, a real woman don't curve like that. Well, maybe they are women that curve like that, but definitely not me. <laughs> so you'll see the cleavage kind of naturally forms there. You can make those circles bigger or smaller than you like. So what I tend to do when I draw boobs is I do like this. And then I come out and I kind of 
automatically kind of draw boobs that look like my own so it's like a little triangle part here and a little half circle underneath so all boobs look like my boobs <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows how my boobs look <laughs> yeah so that is how i would generally draw boobs Uh, is that inappropriate? Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I would draw it usually. But let's just do the circle boobs for now. She's a fake ass woman. Right? Then, with the torso, now the female torso, you can just do it like that if you want to. She just comes down like a board. <laughs> but that you do more with a flat chested. So I like to give women some curves. So you go in like this little halfway triangle and then you've got this indent over here and then you start the hips here so you can kind of see oops, oopsie sorry <laughs> you can't see my finger but you can kind of see how everything is aligned oopsie <laughs> i like drawing curvy people i'm a lesbian <laughs> But no, I just like drawing people with curves. It's fun. So this is like the pelvis area. You don't need to do that. Ah, make it! Okay. Right. So I put the pelvis area in there so you can start to see how the body will form. So this goes down like this. So this is this woman's area, like her hip area. And then this goes down. And crotch area. Right? Kind of a triangle over here. The hip. Just imagine her wearing a bikini. Okay, she really looks like an hermaphrodite now, but whatever. Right. Then you would put legs. I don't know, is that insulting? Can't say that, you know. Social justice warriors will come over after me. But you get the idea. So this is now the legs. So you can make the legs look however you want to, put a thigh gap in, you don't have to put a thigh gap in if that's not your bag. And sorry, I'm just going really really quickly because I'm so used to it, but you'll see it just comes around like that. Uh, some people don't like these thick legs, but I like thick legs. Like I said, I like, I like drawing curves. Um, right, so you'll notice I went like halfway down. And then you've got your knees that I also always forgot to draw when I was little. So it comes like a little indent like that. And I always wondered, like, why do my people look so weird? And I realized they don't have knees. <laughs> and then you do a little curve that comes like to a point. Notice that the leg at the at the top is thicker than the leg at the bottom. That's because uh, fat accumulates on the hips. Mm, it does. As you get older, you'll realize that. <laughs> and then it goes down to the ankle. Now the ankle would be like one of the thinnest part of your body, like your ankles and your wrists. No matter how thick you are drawing your person, their ankles and their wrists will always be like the thinnest part of their body. Um, right. Sorry, your legs look a bit weird because I'm kind of doing it in a unnatural way. Like, not the way I would normally draw it. But just so you can see how to do it. So, then I have, like, a little... Go straight down, around, and then back. And that gives you a foot. Now, I still can't draw toes. So, don't count on me to show you how to draw toes. But then what I do is I do, like, a little half circle and bring it back like that. So, now she's wearing slip-ins. Okay, so you don't need. I'm not gonna go into too much detail there because it's not really necessary. Um, probably looks really weird from far because I didn't zoom out to look how this looks at any point. Right, so. Oh, whoops. Once again, I went fast and I didn't tell you what I was doing. Okay, so I'm going down like this. This is the forearm, elbow. Uh, wait, no. The 
upper arm, elbow, and then forearm. Yeah. Once again, wrist is the thinnest part of the body, and it comes up in a curve. Elbow. Bring it back. Right. That's something I didn't know how to do when I was younger. <laughs> Bring it down. Now your elbows need to be aligned. Curve in just to show that there's a bend there and bring it back. And also on that side, just a little curve in so you can see that there's a bend. Okay, this is not the best because I did it in such an unnatural way. Like normally I would just draw it and then it would look right. But this looks weird because I still don't draw fingers. Okay, that's another thing that I can't draw. Fingers, toes, don't ask me to draw that. Don't ask me to teach you to draw that because I don't even know how to do that myself. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I'll just draw. Okay, so thumb and four fingers. Sorry. Like I said, I don't know how to draw that very nicely. So that's what you get. Okay. Normally I just hide it <laughs> like I did here. <laughs> Part of me. Mm. Alright. So usually I wouldn't draw the whole body before I put clothes on. You know, I remember I brought my drinks to school once and this guy looked at it and then he started adding like nipples and vaginas everywhere. He was horrible. I remember Pepperidge Farm remembers. Can't even remember who the guy was was one of the jocks. It was Scott. No, it wasn't Scott. Was it Scott? No, it wasn't Scott. Right. Anyway. Uh, zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Right. So, just so you could see what it, how it would look like with my normal boobs that I would put there. ba do Don't you think that looks a little bit more natural than what I've got there? Right? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I'm deciding. Do I want to give her the natural boobs? Or should I give her the unnatural boobs? Yeah, let's give her the unnatural boobs. Let's see how where it takes us. Okay. And we have to give her clues. And because anime girls are like usually school girls, let's draw her in some school clothes. Which school clothes should we base it on? Hmm. I think because I've got Doki Doki in my head, I just realized I drew this whole thing in the color I did a hair in. Whoops! Let me see. Can I do this? Yeah, I can do it. Okay, cool. Sorted. Um, <laughs> so basically, to draw school clothes, you'd have a triangle here. That is for the color. And I'm still not 100% great at drawing colors. You'll notice whenever I draw male characters, it looks horrible. So it's a triangle, and then a triangle, and then a triangle. So it's a three-piece triangle with a collar like that. Right? That's a collar, according to me. <laughs> and then you usually put a neck there, so you don't see the black part. <coughs> Right. Uh, so let's do our second triangle over there. Another triangle over here. And then anime school girls generally have not ties like we did at school, but bows. Okay, it's a little bit off center. Yeah, I gave them food. A little bit off center, but if you want to do that, then you can do that. It doesn't really matter. Like, that's the thing you need to learn about art is that it's never gonna look how you want it to. Uh, I actually get pretty damn close sometimes, but the image in my head and the image that I draw is never ever the same. <laughs> Like, her face didn't look that creepy in my head. 
in any case uh, then long sleeve or short sleeve is up to you but it just needs to be a little bit off the skin uh, long sleeve is also a bit more complicated because with long sleeve you have to draw folds and folds is a whole other lesson for another time so just keep that in mind if you want to draw something long sleeve so short sleeve is just a little bit off the skin just just a little bit out and then uh, you can draw a little color there little color there now because the school clothes will not be skin tight she's getting into so much trouble we can bring that boobage a bit down yes yeah, I said it I said boobage All right and clothes don't fit like that so basically what it would look like it would be like this little tight because the strap fabric is stretching it's pulling it's a bit tight on her boobs because she has massive kadonk kadongs that are completely fake right mm -hmm. and usually I take that out the bottom part out as well but we'll keep it there for now uh, I usually do this just to show that that's a different part of the sweater and it comes across like that just to show that that's the other side down like that just to show that's the other side so this is how sweaters are stitched so just you can put the stitching there or you can leave it out it's up to you uh, I only do the stitching sometimes when I draw so, so it's not really that great not always necessary All right. So anime girls also tend to wear vests. So actually, let's put a vest on this woman. Right. And then the vest would go like this because it's separate from the shirt. Little triangle there. And just bringing that back. And then you can put some buttons there if you like. You don't have to. And then her shirt will be tucked in. So you can just draw just above her belly button or over her belly button. Like I said, everything is up to you. You're the artist. Over her belly button, that's the end of the vest. Right. Sorry, I need to erase it multiple times because it doesn't look how I like it. So just normal circle. Half circle, like that. So it sort of looks like a panty. Boink! She's wearing panties. <laughs> okay. Right? So because this clothes is not skin tight, what we do is we just cut out the parts where the clothes would fold. So whenever the body goes in like that, that's where clothes would fold like this. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in detail since, you know, I don't know if this is a beginner tutorial. This is just a me tutorial. This is what I do. So I don't know how useful it will be to you. Uh, might not even be useful at all but I just like this thing like I just decided one day I'm gonna take my cause you see my brother broke his headphones so he got these cheap headphones and then I got him new headphones for Christmas so I told him okay since I got you the new headphones can I have your cheap headphones so he gave me the cheap headphones and I'm like what can I do with these <gasps> and then I started like recording myself drawing and Actually, I first started like recording myself singing, and it was a disaster. So, yeah, that will probably never get uploaded. And then, yeah, so there we go. She's now got a shirt. Now, let's give her a skirt. She looks like a bit of a bully, so maybe she would have short skirt. You see, I've got prejudice towards girls in short skirts. <laughs> Yeah. So you can make the skirt as long or short as you want. Um, I personally prefer drawing with longer skirts than what girls generally get in anime. But for your benefit, I will draw the short skirt. Mainly because I don't think a girl would actually wear a skirt this short in real life. Like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel it. Like when the anime girl moves, like you can see her vagina. Or you should be able to, but you don't. Wow. 
wow i can never be able to monetize my videos because in my ramblings and i'm like so dirty <laughs> i can't help it just the way i was born i'm just naturally dirty minded even if i don't want to be so what you notice i'm doing here is i'm just erasing uh, the crotch area because obviously you can't see a crotch through a skirt and what I did with the skirt as well is just uh, let me just show you what I did there is there a normal triangle? can I do it upside down? no I can't ok so I'll have to draw it by hand so I'll just show you boom boom oh, whoopsie so the basics of a skirt is it's a square that just fans out so this is the top part of the skirt this is where your buttons would be just to keep everything together and then your bottom part of your skirt so you draw a line at the halfway point and then like a kind of what is it i think they call this a rhombus yeah like a rhombus at the bottom uh, everything goes back to those geometric shapes you learnt when you were very very small grade one um, <laughs> so there you go and that's how the basics of a skirt looks like it's very very basic and then you just put your lines there to show that they are pleats um, just to make it look more natural pardon me what I tend to do is I draw these freehand so I don't just draw the rhombus before and then draw the lines because that would imply that the skirt is not moving and it's static so to make it look more natural I tend to curve this part so so you know those bunny hops you did in grade 1 curve in curve out curve in curve out curve in curve out oopsie and now it doesn't exactly line up so what I'm gonna do is <laughs> curve <laughs> in there we go lined up so that's one way to draw skirts uh, I just tend to do stuff like this so it doesn't always like line up and then you just erase the parts that overlap like that. Hmm? and you'll see it gives you that nice flowy texture which I've got here as you can see. Right, let's give her high socks. Or tights, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what looks better when I zoom out. I think high socks would look better. Right out. So let's zoom out completely. Oops. Zoom out. Right. So that's what we've got. Not my best work because it's so static, but it's fine. This is a tutorial. Right, so now I've added my colours. Mm, let's see, what colour should we make this uniform? Red? So yeah, the bow and the skirt and the shoes, I've decided to make the same colour. The shirt, mm, I guess I'll put this greyish colour in here. Oops. What can we do? Boom. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man, that looks cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, she looks like Velma from Scooby Doo. Maybe a darker red for the vest that she's wearing. <laughs> and there you go, that's how you draw an anime girl. So, this is just a uh, basic, it's not perfect. Uh, it was very rough, like normally I would just draw it and I wouldn't do it step by step like this and then you wouldn't get like this weirdness here 
because then I would erase and draw it again until it looks right and that's basically how you do it so it all comes back to what you want to do you don't have to do it in any particular way nobody's forcing you this is the right way to draw and I even have like problems with my drawing sometimes and I see what somebody else does and they do it really nice and then, and then you steal with the eyes and you say well that looks cool I want to do that and then you just do it you know do what you want to do don't be limited um, noses don't have to look like a line on the face like that's just an easy nose that I did for the sake of showing you an easy nose but other noses I do is like a line like this you can do something like this like a doggy nose I know it looks weird out of context but what I would do is I would uh, let me just give you a bit of context so eyes eyes and then a nose like that and then mouth <laughs> um, you can also do like a realistic looking nose if you want I, I did that sometimes and looked so out of place in my comic so it's just like two little things like this and then a curve like that realistic nose <laughs> that, that's also like everything that I draw is based on my own nose so like I base a lot of my drawings on how I look myself and how I've observed my face to look and at other people you can't actually see their nostrils so this would go like <laughs> like that or something I guess and then goes down like that I guess <laughs> so that's not how my nose looks right hope that was helpful how to draw an anime girl see ya